How's it going guys? In this video we're going to get started on the login system for our site and you can see I have a logged in home page now. It's welcoming me and on the top right here we don't have the log login and register anymore because this user is logged in so we're just giving them a little welcome message there for now and you can see my session's been set here. If I refresh um, this user is logged in. Um, inside Chrome you can go into your inspector and then resources cookies localhost and I don't have a sign out button here but we can basically just delete this cookie right here and we can refresh here and then you know we've essentially signed out and we're getting the visitor homepage right now so um, let me just show you the login form um, very simple here uh, we put in our email address and our password and this is my preferred way of doing a login system is with the email address because um, I think you know that you know you've registered on a lot of sites before and they ask you to register a username and then you forget your username for a particular site but you're not going to forget your email address so this this is the reason why Facebook and Google and stuff like that they use your email address to um, log into it so let's just log in here and you'll see I get sent to this um, we get redirected to the logged in homepage right now um, we can just take a quick look at the view for the login. Um, actually, let's start just uh, where it begins, which is the controller. And inside our login controller here, in our constructor function, we are first um, loading in the model for this, model login. And all of our model stuff, all of our database and logic stuff that we're going to do for this login controller, um, we'll do inside here. And before, uh, I think you'll remember we had model underscore user but I've changed that to model underscore register um, just because I think if we do all of our user stuff there it's going to get too big. So it's more specific now. All of the model stuff for the register class is in model register and then for the login we do it inside model login right here. Our index function here is the login page so you see that's just uh, loading in view login um, which we just looked at and the code for that is right here. Um, basically, it's just like a simplified form of the register thing. Um, we just give this div an ID, and then we have a um, email here and password and submit, and that gets submitted to the login user method of the um, of the login controller. So we can go back over to there, and that method is right here. And the first thing I'm doing is I'm loading in the form validation library, and the reason why I'm doing this rather than just immediately checking our database to see if the username and password is a match is because we can find out um, you know some incorrect logins without querying the database and we can just do this by using the same form validation we used um, for the register form so we can check if it's a valid email right here and if it's you know got the same minimum length and maximum length that we set when we required them to register and then for the password um, same sort of thing it should be a minimum length of six and 50. Um, the same rules as the as the register login apply and um, so basically we can find some things out here and you know if these don't check out then this is evaluating to false and then we are going to you know send them back to the login form and we could also we could pass this some information to um, in an associative array if we want to tell them you know what was wrong but I, I haven't done that so far so if there was no problem with these initial checks right here, um, we're going to jump down to this else block here and then we're going to check if the uh, username and password was a correct match or not. So we're running this function right here, this model login and then the uh, login user method. So we can go over to that model here and inside the login user method, the first thing we're doing is we're getting the email and password variables. We're just grabbing that from the global post array and we store it in these variables right here. And then in our SQL statement, we want to select all of this stuff here um, where the email is equal to email. And the reason why I want to get all of this stuff here is because if they um, logged in correctly, if their username and password is a match, then I want to get all of this data here and then I want to like reinitialize their session. So even if they have a session already set, which they're going to have because it's auto-loaded in CodeIgniter, um, we are going to basically overwrite that with all of this um, fresh information that we got from the database. So we run the query here, it gets stored in result, 
and we're only getting one row back, so we use result row. Um, this is the code igniter way for you know fetching a single row from the database. And after that, we're going to do a series of checks. Um, we're going to check if the number of rows returned was one. And if this is true, then we know we found um, that email in the database. But if this wasn't one, we're going to jump down to this else block. And one nice thing in Aptana here, the ID that I use is, if I just click to the right here, um, you'll see the ending brace sort of get a little box around it. Um, most IDs have this. So um, yeah, that's just a nice thing. So um, yeah, if this number of rows isn't one, then we didn't find the email in the database. And then we're gonna go back to this else block right here. And then we're gonna return this string of email not found. And you can see I'm just returning all these different strings. And then in our controller where these get returned to, we are gonna use a switch statement and then we're gonna check for these different things and then we are going to you know, react to that um, you know, according to what uh, string value we get back. So the next thing is um, if we found their email address, we need to see if they're um, activated or not. And if you remember, activated was set to an integer in the database and it's either gonna be one or zero. So um, if they're activated, this is gonna be a one. And if they're not activated, then this is gonna be a zero. So um, we don't need to put like equals true here, or equals one here, because one is the same thing as true inside these um, Boolean checks. So if they're activated, then we can come down here and then we check if their password is equal to um, the salt concatenate the password and then run SHA-1 on it, which was how we stored it in the database initially. And if these two are a match, then we've authenticated the user and now we can update their session. And you can see that I'm just creating this uh, session data array right here and um, just building it up right there with all of the um, information that we just got from the database. And then we go with this set session and session data and set session is my own function that I've created in this class um, in order to initialize the session. So we can go down to this method right here. It's just down here and set session. It takes that array. And then the session data array, I'm you know kind of doing this again here, but at the end I'm doing logged in and I'm setting that to one. And then finally we do code igniters, um, set user data, and then we set this uh, custom these custom session variables um, inside our user session. So we can go back up now to where we call this function and we'll see that, yeah, we set the session data there and then we're just gonna return logged in back to um, the method in the controller that called this. And you'll see I also have some other things here, like for example, um, if row activated, if that was set to zero, then we come down here and then we return not activated. And then for this one, you know, if the password was not a match, then that comes down to this else block right here and we return incorrect password. So um, in our switch statement, and we can just go over to that now, um, basically, you know, we're checking for all of these different things and then we should, you know, react appropriately. Um, if they're logged in here, we're re redirecting the home page. And for these other ones, I haven't wrote any code for it yet. Um, right now, I'm just, you know, sending them back to the login page. But, you know, I think we're going to work on this in the next video. So for this example, we can just assume that um, they did put in the correct username and password. And then we set the session. And then this case of logged in got returned to um, this switch statement right here. And then um, what we're doing is we're going to send them to the logged in homepage. And the way I do this is I just redirect to slash. And then we use location here. Now, CodeIgniter's documentation says that passing location as a second parameter here um, can make this redirect a bit faster, but there is some issues with it um, if your PHP is running on a Windows server. So um, in my case, it's not running on a Windows server and um, probably for 99% of people using PHP, it's not. Um, so I just put that location in right here. And so we can go over to um, our slash, which is gonna be our default controller which is the home controller. And that is this code right here. And class home extends CI controller. And then um, we can go into our uh, constructor method, which is gonna happen first. And we first initialize the parent constructor. 
and then we check if they're logged in or not. And if this session user data are logged in, um, you know, after we log them in, when we just log them in, uh, we set this to a one. So this is going to be a truthy value here. And then we're going to set this logged in to true. This is our, our little property we have inside our class here. Um, we're going to set this private variable logged into true. And if they're not logged in, then this is being set to false. So if a user accessed our homepage um, not through logging in, they just went directly to it. Um, this logged in right here is it's not even going to be um, it's not even going to be present in the um, session array. So this is going to be false. And then we're going to go down to this else block and we're going to set our property here logged in. We're going to set that to false. And um, in our example, the user did log in. So this is going to be set to true. And then we're going to come down to this index right here. And then we are going to load in our home view right here. And then we're going to pass it an array. And logged in is set to um, our private property of this logged in. So we can go over to that view right now. And you'll see here, um, if they're logged in, then um, first name is set to uh, the user data first name. We get that from the session. And then we say, welcome to the home page, and then their first name. Or else we send them to the visitor home page. So that's basically all we had to do to log this user into our site. And in the next video, I think we'll work on those other cases, like um, if they put in the wrong password, what message should we give them back? And maybe we can do something if they forgot their password. So we'll talk about that in the next video.